So thanks very much, Jenny. That was a great session. All of the sessions were, were absolutely brilliant. I think we've had a really successful water conference which coincided this year with the publication of our water quality indicators report which stretched us in the EPA in terms of uh, getting all that right but um, I think it was all very timely. So in terms of just closing the, the conference I'll, I'll draw out a few themes that uh, have struck me throughout the day or throughout the two days but before I do that I just want to you know say the all important thank yous because a conference like this doesn't happen on its own it's a huge amount of work goes into it so I do want to thank all the speakers the session chairs the participants online and here um, and thank you especially to Minister Malcolm Noonan for making the time to come over to Galway and address us our, our conference organisers, Go West, and their extended team, they've been re really helpful. Nothing's been too much, as well as the hotel and the staff here. And, and, and for me, really, most importantly, to thank um, all of my EPA colleagues who have put so much work into organising this conference. I've heard nothing but good feedback um, from, from everybody over the last number of days. So Mary Gurry, Matthew Craig, um, Paddy Morris, and everybody else from the EPA who've been fielding microphones and, and registering, registering and lots of work behind the scenes that, uh, that we don't see. So we've had a wide range of talks this year, and I think that really illustrates the cross-cutting nature of the issues that we're dealing with with water. We tried something new with the discussion on agriculture, and um, the intention there was to start a conversation on where we need to get with agriculture and water. And agriculture is, as we know, one of the most widespread pressures impacting on our waters. And I hope you'll agree that it was a valuable, informative, enjoyable session led ably by um, Phil Philip Boucher Hayes. And, and on to the, the, some of the themes then that resonated with me, our latest water quality indicators report shows that there's been no significant improvements in water quality and that further targeted action is needed. But we are dealing with a wicked problem, as, as Matt Crow set out yesterday, one that shares a lot of common ground with wider problems in mitigating and adapting to climate change, restoring nature and maintaining a healthy environment. And all of those themes are picked up throughout the conference which in turn support healthy people and healthy food. So those interlinkages are really important. Sometimes it strikes me climate can take the oxygen from other environmental issues, but we are increasingly seeing that climate, biodiversity, water are all interlinked. This is something we have always known in the EPA, but it's really good to see that happening um, and that, that, that discussion going much wider spread now. But we do need to continue to see strong leadership collaboration and integration across these policy areas if we are to make progress. And we do also need to have honest conversations about how best we use our resources, recognising and respecting the limits of what nature can provide. David Stiles has been referred to quite a number of times through the morning. I think we're all struck by his av he advocating for a shared vision of what the future needs to look like. It really did resonate with me as well. And as Matt Crow said, we will need to face that future with humility, trust, respect, deeper engagement and a commitment to making progress. In other words, the Minister's words said, he said, we will need to move the debate towards one of collaboration, co-creation and action. And I think that co-creation piece was really picked up as one example in the Citizens' Assembly from Evening. Really interesting for me to get more insight into the actual process itself as well as um, the recommendations. So it is clear that we must build more resilience into how we live, work and play within our landscapes. We must reduce our emissions while at the same time adapting to the effects of changes that are already happening. And many of those are centred around water, whether too little or too much. And Kevin Motherway pointed out, you can't tackle climate action without tackling water. So there will be trade-offs. We'll have to be agile. Maria talked about that earlier. And we must support people to make the changes that are required. And we have to be cognizant of emergent, emerging and future threats and significant public health impacts, potentially. We heard from Stephen McCarthy and Alan Stevens on some of our work in the EPA in that regard. And it was really good this morning to have the, uh, to hear from some of our EPA-funded research from Roisin and from Liam. Our research programme is a really important element of what we do in the EPA. We have just closed our 2023 call and we'll be looking at that to see what has come in and what we'll continue to fund a little um, 
uh, teaser that we'll be re-advertising some of those topics. So anyone in the academic community here or listening online, keep your eyes peeled for, for those. I mean, it's really good to see the, um, the huge investment that we put into research on an annual basis coming through at conferences like this and being so ably communicated as Roisin and, and Liam did um, this morning. So our rivers are truth tellers. Elaine McGough reminded us of that. She was quoting Ellen McSweeney from last year. We have more science, more evidence than ever, and I hope that the new catchment management plans that Bernie talked about will help to communicate it in a way that will drive the right measure in the right place. This is our mantra. The measures that have been asked of all of us do have to be evidence-based, credible and effective, and we must bring a greater level of transparency and accountability for the actions that need to happen. So above all, I'm finishing up as we leave the conference today, we return to our day jobs. I think that collaboration piece has come through very strongly over the last two days. Maybe that's something that comes out of every conference that we need to work together. The co-creation piece is a constant theme when you've been at conferences like this. That doesn't make it any less important. And I think it's now more than important than ever that we, that we continue to work together, communicate and integrate across all of our work areas. So thank you very much for a really fantastic conference. Safe home and look forward to seeing you next year.